Welcome back to Learn SKN, and today we have a paper one for you, a CISEC Information Technology from 2020, last year's paper one. And this one, yeah, you can see it right there. You see the code right there. So that's the May June 2020 CISEC paper one for information technology. And this one was a real pirate job. As you can see, somebody, whoever had the on the lap and they just took some shots and that's how we got to work with right now. All right, but it's information nonetheless and we can work with it, see what we can do. So I would like to thank one of my colleagues for helping me with this paper in particular. Uh, this is, um, he know who he is. So just shout out to that colleague. And just like that, you can jump into the first 20 for this video. Wh number one, which of the following items are considered computer hardware? Very easy, they always start off easy in CXC. And so the answer is clearly C, output devices. So you have your monitor or whatever, because as you can realize, programs, data, all these are uh, software. But the output device, the device after all, that's hardware. Number two, data has been data that has been processed and has been has meaningful in and has meaning in is termed I a little fuzzy, a little fuzzy idea. Right all right, so data that has been processed and has meaning is termed as of course information. Information is this data that you can understand that has already been processed. So that's information. Number three, which of the following can be termed application software? Application software. And so we have DOS, Linux, and Mac OS. All these are basically operating systems. The DOS, way back in the day, Linux, alternative to, to uh, Windows and Mac. And you have Mac OS, which is the one that uses on the, the Macintosh. But the Internet Explorer now is an application software app that is used on Windows software, Windows machines, to access the Internet. Number four, which of the following activities would not be considered as cloud storage? Which is not cloud storage? And the answer we have is B, data stored and accessible on a LAN. So it's a local area network. So that's not cloud. Cloud is where you have them up in servers, off-site. You know, your email address, your Google Drive, your OneDrive, your, your Outlook address, all those will be considered stored in the cloud. That's off-site, somewhere, and servers. So that's what the cloud is all about. Number five, which of the following could not be classified as a cloud-based application? Not. And again, the examples I gave you up there of cloud storage, you have them here, Gmail, email address, Dropbox, of course, you upload stuff to the cloud. And I said Google Drive, as you know, they're off-site in servers. But Windows OS, that's the operating system. That's local to that computer. And so that's not in the cloud. So if the computer crash, Windows gone in, you have to get a new copy or you have to uh, restore from before. But if your computer crash and you're logging in somewhere else, you get your Gmail stuff, your Dropbox stuff, your Google stuff still got in the cloud. They're not stored on site or locally. Number six, the lights in a room turn on as soon as a person enters. Which input device most likely controls the lighting in the room? And of course, the best answer here is a sensor. A remote simply means that you yourself have to physically go and do it. A scanner? Well, you, you don't really have scanners installed in your home like that to go and scan and see what's going on. Of course, it's not a keyboard, so we ain't even going there. But the best answer is a sensor. You have infrared sensor, you have uh, motion sensors, those kind of things. Once they pick up motion, they activate, so it's a sensor. Number seven, which of the following devices is used to input data into the computer? Again, by method of elimination alone, you can see that the only thing used to input data is, of course, a mouse. A monitor displays data, a flash drive stores data, hard drive stores data. But the mouse can be used to input data. Use the cursor and you can click the icons, things like that, to input data. Number eight, for which of the following interface types is the user required to remember specific instructions and syntax? And of course, the best example, the answer here is D, command driven. So that's like the old school way of doing things. You open command prompt and just start typing. That's what back in, you know, Windows, well not Windows, but DOS and, DOS and those kind of things. You have to type in these things. That was like a Linux for a while too. A lot of command, it was command driven as opposed to got the icons to click and stuff like that. You want to access uh, a hard drive, you have to type in access slash back, back, uh, that kind of thing. All right, number nine refers to the following model of a globe. So you see right there. The most suitable printer for creating the model of the globe is, of course, 
a 3D printer. This is a 3D image. All these other ones give you basically a flat plane, a 2D image. But the 3D image, 3D printer would give you a 3D image. So that's an easy one right there. Number 10. The RP secondary school wants the administrative staff to have access to all the students and teacher data. Which of the following networks would be most suitable to enable such an access? And of course, the best answer here is a local area network LAN. That means anybody who has access to the LAN can log on and get access to whatever MISR database system they have installed. Number 11, first of the following symbol. The symbol represents Wi-Fi. You see that on your computer, you see that on your phone, that's the Wi-Fi signal right there. Number 12, unauthorized real-time interception of a private communication on a computer network is referred to as the electronic eavesdropping. All right, electronic eavesdropping. Most of these here are just, these can be done manually. I mean, propaganda, you just print something, put it out there. You just stick up some bad, some news, fake news. Identity theft, of course, that can be done. You know, you get somebody's social security number, bank account number, that kind of thing. Industrial espionage, hmm, almost like a James Bond kind of flex. You go in and you discover you know, new things, R&D stuff. But the best answer is D, electronic eavesdropping. You hack it in a sense. Number 13, double entry data with verification involves, and the best answer is D, the same data entered once, then re-entered by another person. It's just, as the name said, double entry. It's self-explanatory. Number 14, part of a private network using internet technology and public telecommunications that can be accessed by business suppliers, vendors, customers, and partners is called an, and of course, that one is called an extranet. Because if it was normally when it's within the comp company alone, there would be the internet, and of course the internet is World Wide Web, everybody have access to the internet. And Ethernet is just the car and whatnot used to take data and things like that. But the extranet is what? Both internal and external access. Number 15. Which of the following shows an increase in computer memory capacity? Very easy question. So you start from, in this case, they have three. In this case, the smallest one here is megabyte. And from megabyte, you jump to gigabyte. And from gigabyte, you jump to terabyte. Terabyte is the largest, so that's not increase. So the smallest in this case is the, the megabyte, then you jump to the gigabyte, then you jump to the terabyte. And you can follow that when as you, as you look at um, external so hardware, external drives and things like that. Back in the day, you had a 512 megabyte, then you jump to a gig, and from a gig to a terabyte now. I know they're on 246, a lot of terabytes now. All right, 16. Which of the following function is performed by a modem? Best answer, analog and digital. So it, it's take an analog signal and it turns it digital. That's why you see a lot of the modems would have coaxial, coaxial cables that still is kind of analog and that goes into the modem and then the modem spits out a digital thing that your computer can access and your phones can pick up. Number 17, in the URL, www www.shoes.com shoes.com stands for the and the best answer is the domain name that's the domain name people sell these packs these these identities so that you can you know link your company and things like that for example if i'm to start a website of course i would love for it to be www.learnskn.org whatever that would be my domain name so that's the domain name the extension would not be that's you know in a file and you have the extension you know jpeg whatever uh, company name that can be done just on the website alone, but sometimes you incorporate a company name into the URL, right? It's got .com. The company might name shoes.com too, we don't know, but the, the domain name is shoes.com. Number 18, transferring data from a remote computer to your computer is referred to as downloading. D, downloading. That's very simple, downloading. Number 19, which of the following types of technologies is commonly used by banks to read data on checks? And the best answer here is D. The answer here is D, M-I-C-R. Or Magnetic Ink Character Recognition. So M-I-C-R. And of course, we're at number 20. That's the last one for this video. We said, which of the following operations is considered a feature of a biometric system? Biometrics, that's about your body. And so the best answer here is A, matching fingerprints. And that's what you see on your phones. You have your nice um, touch. You use your fingerprint to open your phone. That's biometrics. 
Number 21. Number 21. Telecommuting can be best described as uh, we have C, working from home by connecting home and office. And so we see that happening right now. Um, this people was 2020, so that was so appropriate. Where you have COVID and persons have to work from home. And so they have to do a lot of telecommunicating. Is that literal telecommuting? That's literally going from one place. That's not community. Commuting is just going from one place to the next. Telecommuting is now basically fancy word for working from home. Number 22. In order to use a program stored on a flash drive, the program must be transferred into D, the RAM. All right, the program must be transferred into the RAM so it can be executed properly. Number 23. Which of the following is not a hardware component of a computer system? Very easy again. All these here you have, you can actually touch all of these. The CPU, the peripheral device, main memory, you can touch them, but data file, that's total totally not hardware you can't touch it so the answer is a data file 24 which of the following check is not a validation technique and so we have c double entry double entry system that's a double entry check that's not a validation technique i can make the same uh, mistake twice right so that's not really a validation technique number 25 which of the f which process of scrambling message at the sending end and in scrambling on a uh, receiving end is called of course that's encryption Right, so that's what uh, WhatsApp do with your messages. They encrypt them so that no one can really pick them out of the ear per se when they are being trans. The packets are being transferred from one end to the next. So you have to when if, if they do intercept them, all they're gonna see is gibberish because they were encrypted. So yes, all right. Number twenty-six. There are many software restrictions used by computers to protect data and maintain data integrity. Which of the following entities are software restriction media? And so we have one viruses, two uh, passwords, and three encryption. And so the best answer here is two and three, which are passwords and encryptions. Uh, viruses, of course, the viruses can be used to penetrate people's systems and things like that, right? So these are not real. That's not really the answer. So the best answer here is, of course, passwords and encryption protect data right there. All right, number twenty-seven. Which of the following devices can be used for both input and output? Hmm, interesting. Very straightforward. A, the touch screen. Because I can touch the screen and still read what's on the screen. So that's a very obvious answer, the touch screen. Number 28. Which of the following is true of accessing files sequentially? And the answer is D, starts with the first record. So sequential means as they are put into the record system, that's how they are accessed. One after the other, after the other just how they were put in. 29. Which of the following is a hard hardware user interface? And of course, we have the touch screen again. All right, the touch screen. All right, number, the last one for this video, number 30. We're going to do two videos just for this one. So the last one, number 30. An official of company X sells confidential information about his company to company Y. What is the term used for this type of information misuse? And of course, the best answer is industrial espionage. Industrial espionage, so companies spying on companies who, who get the leg up. All right, good. So that's it for this video. You know what to do now: like, subscribe, and share the video. And you know you have to hit the bell so you know when Learn SKN drops another thirty for the June, July, COVID year 2020 information technology paper one. All right, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.